This is Twit. Okay, real quick, because we, we've gone a little long in this segment, but I have to add this last block here because... Uh, there, you know, there are a number of features we have. Obviously, there's a lot that we haven't touched on on the, on the six pro. Everyone should te- check out Tashaka's uh, full review on, on Android Central. Of course, if you want to get detailed on certain aspects of it, um, and more, more than we're going to get to today. But I wanted to talk a little bit about fences because, you know, remember back in, was it Google IO 2017? Google showed off on the stage a picture of a of a boy, a, a baseball, you know, in a baseball field, yeah. uh, behind, you know, behind a chain link fence, and they said, you know, and they alluded the to the fact that coming soon there would be this magic ability to remove the chain link fence, and I mean, it was yes. one of those moments at Google I/O where everyone went ooh and ah, and we all wanted it. And so now we have Magic Eraser. It's a feature mm-hmm. that's part of the camera of the 6 and the 6 Pro. And I thought, I'm going to actually attempt this. So I took the photo that Google presented with the chain link fence. And Burke, if you hit that video, mm-hmm. you can see my process of using the Magic Eraser and removing all of the things, all of the pieces to oh, it. Of course, cool. I. I sped it up to see. I wanted to see how close we could get to the original using this feature. Now, mind you, Google did not say <laughs> Magic Eraser is the feature that will remove chain link fences from your photos. <laughs> they didn't actually explicitly say that. But it's pretty obvious that that's what this feature, you know, that's that's what led to this feature. And so yeah. I, I went through the process of doing that. And then, uh, Burke, if you skip forward to the before photo that we have in there. And we can see, and we can see eventually side by side. I have, I have kind of what it looked like uh, when Google did it, and what it looked like when I did it. And there you go. So on the left is the Google I/O 2017. <laughs> Looks a little bit sharper. Not gonna lie. On the right, the Pixel 6 Pro 2021. Which I mean, at the end of the day, I was still able to remove the fence. So it's yeah. like the fence isn't there anymore. It doesn't look horrible. But it's not perfect. It's not ideal. It's also not at all what what Google promised. You know that this feature could actually do. So, but I guess to that end, kind of impressive that it could even do that. I I think what I noticed in using that feature is it's really easy to do the draw on screen. Wait mm-hmm. a second. I mean, not even a second. It does the processing really fast, which is a testament to the Tensor chip uh, on yeah. the inside of the phone. But I pulled the chain link fence image into Photoshop and I am no Photoshop genius whatsoever, but mm-hmm. I started because I was going to like do it in Photoshop and show what it looks like when you use real tools. And <laughs> it took me so long well, you, you to gotta get know through what a you're small doing there. port. <laughs> yeah, totally. But I was using the tools that I know how to do that with. And it took me long enough to where I realized it just wasn't worth my time. It may end up looking better in the end, but the point that I realized is that it takes so much more time, unless you truly know what you're doing, I suppose, but to do it with the tools versus Google's version where you're literally just drawing with your finger and boop, it does it smartly. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, um, you know, that was one of the, the kind of the hits of the review is uh, I'm, I removed two large dumpsters from a baseball field and people seem to be amused by that. Um, and, and it was clean, it, it, you know, and I just drew a big circle around each dumpster and they were gone. No shadow. Uh, it, it was it was it's impressive. And I think ultimately when when Google's talking tensor, that's what tensor is really about is. Uh, creating a technology that allows people to just use the device and use the tool without honestly having to know the tools, know those professional tools. It's like, uh, you know, people who want to use a computer, but they don't really want to know exactly how it works. They just want to turn it on and it works. And, and and that's where we're at with, I think, with this Tensor technology and, and with AI and ML is that uh, manufacturers, uh, the Apples, the Googles of the world, the Samsungs, they're creating experiences that allow people to just use the tools without having a deep understanding of the healing tool and 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 removing yeah. backgrounds and doing all those things. They, they just draw a circle around something and you're done. And, and right. you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Um, you know, 
some, some folks, well, Burke and the, and the and other people in chat are pointing out uh, that you do still see remnants of the oh, fence, yeah. you know, in in my removal. It's it's not so magic that it's going to you know remove it entirely. What I noticed is when you're doing this on things with a lot of texture, like if mm -hmm. I was removing the fence and there was grass behind there, it would mm -hmm. remove the grass, but it still yeah. ends up being kind of more of a smear than it is a texture kind of replacement. And right. so. These things aren't perfect, but I actually, I actually did a bunch of fence removals. I was like inspired today. So I, you know, put my dog behind a fence. I was like, well, what if my dog, I went to the tennis, the tennis court down the street Jeez. and uh, there was just a random guy there. I'm like, Hey, can I take a photo of you <laughs> and then try and remove the fence? And oh, I mean, wow. it didn't work that well. I mean, that's the before and after, but anyways, did you, so, do you know this per do you know this person no, playing tennis or no. no? Okay, cool. No, I didn't. And that actually worked out well with my dog. I mean, you can yeah. see, like you, like I said, you, you see can it. see that like yeah. fuziness of the fence is still kind of there. But I mean, but you know, here's the thing: we're looking at this there. on a larger screen. Yeah, you know, totally. when people are doing this on their phones, it's going to be a lot harder to see that that nuance on your smaller smartphone screen, yeah. where True. where you can kind of see the fence is still left there. And and I think because we're we're you know geeky and nerdy and and you know uh, to put it colloquially we're about that life um yep. we tend to really pick up and be sensitive to things that i think the general public isn't you know it, it's like getting somebody who's not an audiophile to listen to and hear for things that an audiophile hears a lot of totally. people just want to listen to music you know and they don't know the difference between an MP3 and a FLAC file until you put something in front of them or over their ears that allows them to really hear the difference between an MP3 and a FLAC file. Yeah, yeah, indeed, no question. Um, cool stuff. We could we could talk about this all day. But we have a <laughs> lot of other stuff to talk about. Uh, so again. I'll just point everybody to Tashaka's uh, review on Android Central. This is like a taste of his review and, you know, and some of my thoughts. I'm sure I'll have more thoughts to share over the coming weeks, but.